Hi, this is Esther, and this is Cacophony, my minimalist and ergonomic MIDI sequencer. Uh, by minimalist, I mean two things. First, that it's clearly got this very spare interface. There's, it's, it's more or less ASCII with some rectangles. Uh, and by minimalist, I also mean that there's only so much you can do in this. So I just added a track from a sound font and now I have armed the track and I can do that and then that doesn't sound great. Let me uh, get rid of that and uh, just play a C scale. That sounds much better because it's a C scale. What if I want to uh, change the track and I just go to here? I can make it telephones, I guess. Okay, whatever. Uh, I can select the input beat that we're going to have next so we can get like a nice long note of telephones. Um, let's, let's not make that telephones actually. That's, that's terrible. Okay, here we go. Much better. Make it a nice long beat. Um, I can change the volume of the next input so it sounds like that. We can also add another track you know so we can we can add some more notes here. You get the idea but more than just a design philosophy I want you to have like a certain experience when you're using Cacophony. I want you to feel like the feeling when you are sitting at a piano or with your other analog instrument and you are like you know, booping out a tune, boop, 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 and you're writing it down with a pencil on actual paper. I want it to feel as close to noodling around with a real instrument as possible. This in no way is meant to emulate like a DAW. It's not meant to replace a DAW. It's meant to like get music out of your head uh, as fast and as smoothly as possible. And so the first way we do that is the aforementioned minimalism of the design, but there's another way, which is that it's, in my opinion, very ergonomic. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to attempt to do something you're not supposed to do, and just tip it down here. Okay, so Cacophony doesn't use a mouse. Everything you've seen so far is keyboard and keyboard, and of course you can have an arbitrary. This is optional. You can you can have a MIDI controller or not. So I can use the arrow keys to decide where to place the next note or with the keyboard um, or I can use the uh, MIDI knobs and this is all mapped in a config.ini file that you can edit yourself. Um, if you get lost and you're not sure what to do you may have noticed that there are no tooltips so let's say you wanted to uh, change the track and you're not sure how to do it from here, uh, you would just hit F2. Equals to add a track. Minus to remove the track. Up or knob 2 and down or knob 2 to scroll. Enter to load a sound font. Left bracket or knob 3 and right bracket or knob 3 to set the preset. Alright, that's enough of that. I'm going to... There we go. It's knob 3. Okay. And now we can, you know... It's different music now you get the idea um, I'm gonna put it back up here so it uh, you can get it on itch and you can also uh, compile it for free from github it is free and open source if you want uh, to have pre-compiled builds you're not sure how to do it uh, you can go to itch and buy this software uh, if you're feeling adventurous um, go to github I have uh, in my opinion pretty good instructions for how to compile this and then uh, you could have uh, your own cacophony for free. I would also love it if people could contribute. So GitHub and Discord are by far the best ways uh, to reach out with any feedback, bugs, whatever. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think by uh, downloading cacophony and I don't know, using it every day of your life. I don't know. Uh, I hope you like it. Please use it. Uh, this has been a, a real treat to work on. Um, and I hope you have fun with it too.